This is a quick uh, review and opening of the latest uh, Poundland LED head torch. Now, this is the 2014 version. They've had various other models. What sets this one apart from the others is that instead of using this sort of bike light chip that flashes backwards and forwards and you have to click through all the flashy settings to get to static light, this one is just on and off. And that makes it very functional. That's not bad at all. It's very similar to the Petzl Tika torch. I think Petzl were the first to bring this, this style out. Not really sure. Uh, certainly I bought a Petzl Tika uh, torch a long time ago and uh, it had the same, same sort of shape and functionality. Yeah, I'm just going to try this on for size. And it's actually a nice loose fit at the full size um, on my huge head. So that's pretty good. It beats some of the torches that come with the wee tiny elastic strap that's almost as if they were only designed for children or, and uh, if uh, an adult wears them it's like throttles the blood supply to the brain. Um, it's detachable from the strap and has a magnet. I'm not overly keen on magnets uh, mounted directly to my cranium. Oh well. Um, it's got the same style of catch as the Petzl Tika and quite interestingly it came with two screws holding it shut together as well which really isn't a good idea on a head torch. Um, fortunately it seems to be some sort of kiddie safe feature because it holds itself together completely tightly uh, without those screws. So let's uh, pop it open. Now when I bought my original Petzl Tika I thought it was uh, quite badly designed. It was very usable, but um, inside it was pretty bad design. Uh, very similar to this, in fact, with the battery holder um, being the same um, assembly as uh, what probably supports the LEDs. So let's pop that off and open it. I was actually um, working in a Disney theme park at the time, and I was... Uh, I'd been working long hours in a really bad to access junction box. This seems to come apart like a pencil tick as well. Oh, cautious and get oh right, okay. Very like a pencil tick. Um I'd been working long hours and it was a really accessible electrical junction box, which is unusual for Disney. They're usually quite good at their designs. And I was using a tungsten head torch, and that was the turning point for going to an LED head torch. They were expensive at that point in time, but some of the riggers we're working with um, were using Petzl Tikas, and when I tried one, it was just chalk and cheese. It was just LED head torches are the way ahead. Uh, so noting the switches uh, can go in two ways round, but the back of it's slightly higher. So you'd have to note that if you took one to bits. The lens actually falls out in exactly the same way as the Petzl Tika. It's very Petzl Tika, really. Um, I, as I say, I assume that Petzl Tika, Petzl, were the first to come out with this and they just didn't rebadge someone else's product. Uh, the original Petzl Tika had uh, this sort of assembly, but there was no circuit board in it at all. And Instead of a click on, click off button, they had a slide uh, switch, but it wasn't actually a switch. Uh, when you slid the little plastic insert, it pushed a metal strip against a resistor lead, and the LEDs were held in just by pushing them through a little support and then folding leads along the back and wedging it in from the side. It was really bad construction. The switch was very prone to getting stiff and also the light often had little flickering fits because the metal to metal contact on the resistor lead was just not, it was two completely dissimilar metals and it seemed to cause endless problems with flickering. Um, which is a shame given that the, the original Petzl Tika cost, um, as I say, uh, about £40 um, and here we have one for a dollar, a pound which is uh, somewhat better. So I'm just going to hook this back in. The Petzl Tika was just a nightmare to put together again, so hopefully this won't be as bad. The wee switch has to point down the way. Oh, it just clicked, but was that it? Clicking properly? No, it wasn't. It's not going in properly. Oh, it has now. And the switch is working. Battery's back in. 
Another annoying feature about the Petzl Tika was the battery contacts weren't as good as these ones. They were just bits of spung metal. And uh, they used to eject the batteries forcibly at the slightest provocation. I'm not saying this won't eject the batteries forcibly at the slightest provocation, but um, uh, better. Oops, put it on the right way would be quite a good thing. So you get torches uh, with the multiple intensity settings, which are quite useful, and you get the ones with super high power LEDs. But if you get three AAAs and you use a three watt LED, then the three watt LED is going to take roughly about an amp, and the batches will not last long at all. So um, for general purpose, use something like this is very, very adequate. Um, yeah, you know what? The the pound. This is uh, this isn't actually too bad a wee torch. It feels quite robust. It's certainly no worse. In fact, it's a lot better than the original Petzl Tika, which is a criminal thing to say. But hey, there you go. Yep, that's pretty good. I like that.